What's going on, world? Yeah, I'm just on a little road trip, out and about, with the homies, just going on. And, you know, I like to continue that conversation about religion versus spirituality. Who better to kick it with than one of my homies, you know what I'm saying? Just kicking it around, tossing it back. Mentally, that is. But a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they don't believe in prayer as you got to pray, get down on your knees and pray every damn day for things that may not happen right away. Why is that? think people uh, pray and pray and pray for things that may not happen right away. What do you think? I mean, why? Or well, they pray for because they, that's, what, that's what they've been taught. That's what they've been taught for, for generations and generations. Talk about it's, it's, who? It's, it's, it's by, by, by your family. By your family tree. Your family tree has to have a you down. Who else going to teach you? It's in your blood. So, it's in that blood. It's in that blood to, to, to believe in uh, um, things from a thousand years ago, from 400 years ago. It's in that blood to believe that, because that's what, I, that's what I, our mothers know, and their mother's mothers know. So is it safe to say that and we're grandmothers, easily... grandmothers, So is it safe to say that we're easily deceived? Yes. Man. If, if you're a child, if you come out the womb and you're taught... To believe in Jesus Christ all the time, right? Yeah. Or if if you're uh, if well, you come, if oh 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 oh, or if you come into a uh, uh, um, Muslim, you know what I'm saying, way of life, then that's what you're taught. That's what you're going to be, right? That's the family you come into. So that's what you're taught. So that's what you go up to be. It's in your blood, so then you teach your child to be that. And your child teach that child, it becomes generational. You so, see what I'm saying? It becomes generational. Once it's generational, it's in your blood. So I guess it's in your strength. Say, yeah, so you I, have to you have to fight that. In our community. It's in our generation. It, it's in our it's, it's in our blood. It's in our bloodstream to be servants. To work for somebody else. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I don't, I don't care, but how many bosses do you know? How many people do you know that own their own business? That's true. You got a point? Well, you agree then. You agree with what I just said then. <laughs> no, I don't agree. If you don't know nobody, how many people do you know? Think about how I many people, people. And then deal with the percentages. Okay. Think, th how many people? Think about the people that you done ran into in your life. Not just the people that you know, but the people that you done ran into in your life just everyday living. So what you saying? The only bosses that you know are white? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I, 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 didn't, I never regulated to no race. I, I, I would never do that. It's the teaching. Definitely. No matter what race it is. Definitely. It depends on what you come from. You see what I'm saying? It's inside you. You have to fight it. You see what I'm saying? You born in poverty, then that's what you that's what you know. You see so what I'm saying? If you if your family is born from poverty poverty stricken for for since they since since the creation right of that bloodline then how you gonna grow up and think you and think you rich you have to break the cycle yeah you have to like what did you just say cycle but you did say it's a cycle it's a cycle so just like i said it's embedded in you it's embedded in you it's in your it's in your bloodstream to be a cycle so to have to break something that means you that something that something is already inside of you if it's not inside of you, you don't have to break nothing, right? Yeah. Because it's not, it don't exist. So being that you said it exists, you're saying it's in the bloodstream. You're saying it's generational. Just like I'm trying to speak to you. You see what I'm saying? I'm sad. People gotta understand it's not, it's not, it's not hard. It's not, it's not, it's not calculus. You know what I'm saying? People just gotta think. What are you around? What did you grow up around? 
What did you grow up around? How many How many of your homeboys went to college? Huh? Not a lot. How many? Not a lot. You and, you and one other guy that I know of. That I know of. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's all about the choices that we made at that time. It's all about the, it, it was about, it was, it was about what you was around. I talked to Kevin Hall today, the sheriff, Allegheny County. And he knows me. And he said, I was a product of my environment. He, he agreed I didn't have a father. So I went somewhere else searching for a father. He you had see no what I'm problem saying? busting your ass, didn't he? I, I was doing wrong. <laughs> He never busted me for doing for doing something legal. True. That's true. I ain't got I've been out for four and a half years. I I did 19 years out of my life. I, I've been out four and a half years. That's true. I ain't I ain't had no cuffs on me. No. So you feel you making better decisions now? Yeah, I think you gotta think things through just like you said um, 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 in one of your old your old messages. You know what I'm saying? That you're trying to get out to the people, you know what I'm saying? That they need to take heed to. What about, you know what, the, uh, what about the what about the old demons? What about the old demons? Demons. Some, some people uh, want to know: Do you have the desire to be back out there on them streets? It was an addiction. So you are anything you addicted to, you always constantly fighting. It just it's just the fight becomes uh, 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 mental. It's always mental. Addiction is mental. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? No. But I'm talking about it just gets smaller. You know what I'm saying? What's the word? Minuscule or something? My new. My new, yeah. It just get, you know what I'm saying? It gets, it gets smaller. You know what I'm saying? The craves, the craves get distant. You know what I'm saying? They become distant from one another. You know what I'm saying? So, so the majority of the time, you don't really um, realize that you had a crave. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or that you had to fight. You know what I'm saying? That you had to fight a thought. You know what I'm saying? But see, I have it easy because I have a grandbaby that, that loves me to death and I can't leave. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's definitely so as long as I put her first, as long as people put the people that you have to be here for, put them first. And you won't do wrong as much. You will think, you will think more of things. You will think more of things through. You know what I'm saying? In fact, like I think about my grandbaby. I'm not gonna do no crime. How do you feel that she's a I don't want to leave. Huh? How do you feel like? How she's so she... intelligent. She's so she's so intelligent. Uh, look, explain she that. Was three explain years old. She was three years old when I got when I when I, when I got home. You know what I'm saying? The least one for being incarcerated. So first time we met face to face. You know what I'm saying? She was three. Uh -huh. I needed to. Uh, I had my phone. I ain't know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? I was gone. 19 years. Right. Do the math. From 2003 to, um, uh, I left from 14. I left from 14 years. The last time I left from 2003 to 2017. Dang. You see what I'm saying? Straight. Yeah. Damn, I'm Straight. Dang. With a nine month break in in, in between a five year stamp before that to equal 19 years. So. I miss all that type of, uh, you know what I'm saying, the intelligence that came to the world. I miss that. Right. I'm behind walls. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get my mind off of that. You see what I'm saying? Do you feel like she's teaching you new things? She's teaching, of course. Of course. She's teaching me to strive because I have to teach her. I have to teach her. She, she's making me understand that I have to teach her. She has she has the um, uh, uh, the ability to learn so easily, and all the kids now have the ability to learn so easily, just effortless, because they're here to change the world. We just have we just have to give them a little nudge and help them do it. That sounds like you agree with uh, Kwame Brown with the coding and training in schools. Yeah, I, I believe most definitely. I believe with all knowledge to kids. Get, the more knowledge you give to somebody, the more they would gain. The more they, the more they would gain for for to the community. And as they get older, once they become, once they become young adults, it ain't no, it, it, it's no limit to what they can really become. It's really no limit to what they become because they already have the, the, 
the ability to learn at the rate that we do. Or even they better. Just don't, <laughs> they, yeah, they just don't have the knowledge. But they're nothing but sponges. They trying to get an understanding of life. They trying to get a direction. They want somebody to lead them. You and see what I'm saying? And it's our jobs to do that. And that's what we need to understand as adults. Each generation has to understand that the, the generation that comes behind you is your responsibility with our responsibility to make sure that they are prepared for life. Right. And they, they, they don't make the mistakes that we make. Exactly. But we have to give them a skill to, to not just not just talking. Right. Not just We talk. have to show. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Talking is nothing because they're going to have a lot of life to live alone. They're going to have a lot of life. We have to work. Right. We have to work. You see what I'm saying? That's something I damn sure wouldn't so, think about so, 20 So they can always have time alone, you know what I'm saying, to grow themselves. So the only thing we can do is get them to get them the knowledge of what they not need. to do. Yeah, of what not to do and what to do. You see what I'm saying? Give them inspiration. Give them, you know what I'm saying? Give them lead, lead by example. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want my grandbabies to be bosses. So I strive to be a boss. That's what I'm going to strive okay. to be. Okay. I did 19 years for striving to be a boss. Because that's all I knew. I didn't know how to work. Well, maybe it wasn't all you wanted to know at the time. Exactly. But was it being fed to me? No. True. I needed a father figure. Fathers have to be there. I definitely agree with that. And mothers. And very important. Very important. Shout out to all the moms out there. And mothers. Because they always left with the burden that having to take care of them anyway. You know what I'm saying? We lead in with the burden, you know what I'm saying? Even when we here. You know, if you if you're if you're split up from your from your um, from your children's mother, so, all you do is take care of the children. You might go get them. But do you go get them for half the day? And she get them for half the day? So let's dig in. You know, that. every day, you know, them, them mothers have them kids on a daily basis. Yeah. We just give them breaks. You know what I'm saying? That's the way we did it. But we call good fathers if we do that. Right. <laughs> but, but, but. They really we, are the rock. You know yeah. What I'm they really are the rock. So let's get into that. Do you think this single mother, single parent household thing is big business? Is it somebody else's plan? forced upon everybody or is it just decision based I mean I don't know you know what I'm saying some people say think it's like a conspiracy theory they think that you know so they pounded the uh, they took the black man out the home and made it uh, the uh, black woman hate him right, so it's big business you want me to get in there man alright check it out check it out alright Planned. It was planned. And it was created by Joe Biden, our president right now. Okay. All right. It started once they once they changed the crack cocaine law. For those that don't know about the crack cocaine law, uh, what did they change? Everything I'm saying, only thing you gotta do is go to YouTube. It's there for us to see. Yeah. It ain't hidden. It ain't hidden. For sure. I ain't gonna do all that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you the direction that you can look at. <laughs> I, I, I advise you to all look right. at it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that. understand what we put in office for everybody that has family members or themselves that, 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 that wanted this man in office so bad. I want you to understand this. The reason that the 85% law was created, the reason why we had to do so much time out of our um, sentence and couldn't get a parole was because of Joe Biden. Oh, and there was a it. bill that was signed off on Who signed by it? Bill Clinton. Now, You ain't gotta believe me. You can do your own homework too. Yeah. 
hear that, y'all. Y'all can go out there and look. Go out there and check it out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all, all out right. there. But before that bill was changed, Late 80s, very late 80s, Joe Biden was at the head of the table changing another law. And it was to make the laws more strict against crack over cocaine. You would get less time for cocaine than you would for crack cocaine, than you would for crack. That is crazy. All right. You want to know what the plan was? What was this the plan? was the plan. People to to take cocaine back in the late eighties. It was probably costing two to three hundred dollars. So if you're in poverty, you now I don't I don't think you're gonna be. The, Getting too many grams. <laughs> True. Uh, uh, what you think? You nah, think? Nah. If you living in poverty? Nah. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. All right. So, who was that drug for? The entertainers? Yeah, it was the rich man's drug. The, the, uh, yeah, the it was, ballers. It was the rich ballers, man's right? Yeah. The ballers, ain't that what you, ain't that what you call them now? The ballers, right? Yeah, ballers. The ballers, right? All right. So, the crack. You can get little pieces. Three dollars pieces, five dollar pieces, ten dollar pieces, on up. Who you think them two and three dollar pieces for was for? Who you think them ten dollars pieces was for? Yeah, that was it. It wasn't for nobody wealthy, was it? Nah, it's for poor. You think they gonna get a ten dollar piece? Nah, it was for poor. It's gonna be for poverty stricken people, right? Alright. Who was who was poverty stricken? If you, if you, who would you see more likely to be poverty stricken? What race? Black or brown. Black and brown? Black and brown. Okay. So who was that law created for? It's hard to say, but it, I guess it got to be. Who was that law created for? <laughs> you know where we go. <laughs> uh, 